solely paradise kabala with stupidity extra large casual chat italics just the other day i chatted with a homeless at the red light and i told him that they were a blessing because they bore witness of a broken world in the midst of plenty he replied that there was no problem that the messiah was about to come being just around the corner i was left wondering if the if the aforementioned messiah savior was a text or a person if the Messiah is a text, he has already come, which is the teaching of Moses of Paradise Kabbalah. Then let's get to work and not sit idly by. But if the Messiah is a person, we he is still to come or to return, and we would have to continue waiting patiently. Italics, recommendation. If you do not understand the following in the first reading or in the second one, it's because education was very effective in achieving its objectives of stupefaction. Then read my book, The Sweet Spot, on the obvious, all revealing, yet hiding in plain view. Read it at Amazon in English and Spanish, printed, audible, or if you prefer digital, 99 cents dollar, 89 cents euro. Also, in five more languages, but without an audible version. Italics argument. I am going straight to the conclusions, leaving the arguments for homework by reading The Sweet Spot. My starting point to mark the beginning in time is back in the 12th century before the Common Era in the Fertile Crescent, precisely between the collapse of the Bronze Age and the beginning of the Iron Age. This watershed mark serves to divide the before from the after on the historical timeline. The earlier age of mythology was characterized by the inclusion of the middle term between heaven and earth, while the later age of dualism is characterized by the exclusion of the middle term. By inclusion of the middle term, we refer to the inclusion of a semi-divine human with a heavenly father and an earthly mother. By exclusion of the middle term, we refer to the exclusion of a semi-divine human. The homo sapien only has human father and human mother. That is, before there were gods, humans, and heroes, and now there's only God and humans with an impenetrable barrier between the inhabitant of heaven and those of earth, on earth. Italics Theses there is, This is where the one and first thinker of universal stature comes into the picture. To Moses it is revealed, on the one hand, that there is a creator, that there is the creator, and on the other hand, that there is creation. From there, he figures that we as narrators must, on the one hand, be creatives of the creator, and on the other hand, become creatures of creation. That is, Moses' contribution to humanity is the universal principle of knowledge of common sense, of the, uh, quote, the creator of the creative creature of creation. Everything else in the Bible is made up, but it is valid if and only if it complies with this universal principle of knowledge of being and becoming. Italics, timeline, but what happened? Where is the ball? Moses left the teaching of the universal principle of knowledge at the entrance so that it would not be missed. But the sages of antiquity either overlooked it or else the sagists did poorly by hiding it to serve their own beliefs, values, and interests. The point is that instead of going from the mythos era to the era of paradise, we entered into the era of dualism of the last 3,000 years. After the Bronze Age, the new era of dualism opens with the Iron Age. Then follow the ages of Greek and Roman antiquity, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the Enlightenment period, and contemporary modernity, and possibly postmodernity. What characterizes this era of dualism is precisely the dominance of opposites, conflicts, and crises, whether in politics, such as polarization between left and right, in morality, the dilemma between good and evil, in physics, like between charges, and so on, in every other field of knowledge. Italics, paradise formula. The recommendation of Moses was to imitate the creator of creation as creative creatures that we are. That is, to be creative like the creative, and at the same time, to become creatures of creation. Now, let's move on to the applications. But before that, let's clarify what is meant by paradise <clears throat> to facilitate understanding. <clears throat> 
Paradise is the acronym of S, standing for whole one, being, becoming, slash, and triad apart DRP with discover D, reflection R, plane P, or being one S, becoming triad DRP with spiritual D, mental R, physical P. Italics, family model. Our paradise worldview model assumes historical continuity. This means that the pre-Socratic schools of Ionia of the 6th century before the common area are in some way the missing link between the Moses of Israel of the 12th century before the common era and the school of Athens of Greece of the 4th century before the common era. Now, let's give it a human face to better understand things. Let's start with Moses in the role of patriarch. The triad of sons would then be the pre-Socratics of Ionia of Pythagoras of Samos, Parmenides of Elea, together with Sinophonies of Colophon, and Thales of Miletus. The triad of grandchildren would be the school of Athens of Greece, composed of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. The triad of great-grandchildren would be the European Enlightenment thinkers John Locke, Montesquieu, and Jean-Jacques Rousseau, as well as numerous American practical thinkers. Finally, Today, we will be the bewildered descendants of fourth generation. Italics, pre-Socratics. The pre-Socratic thinkers of Ionia include Thales of Miletus, founder of the Milesian school P of, quote, physicists, Sinophonies of Colophon and Parmenides of Elea, founder of the Iliatic school D of, quote, being is and not being is not. Pythagoras of Samos, founder of the Pythagorean school art of triads that, quote, everything is a triad, intelligence, strength, and luck. And for the secret Pythagorean sect is of the, uh, quote, tetractis, without words, of course. The school of Athens, Greece, was composed of Socrates R, Plato D, and Aristotle P. But there were also many other philosophers and minor schools too numerous to mention. Italics, the school of Athens. But how exactly is culture configured to be transmitted through these aforementioned schools in a convincing narrative? This is where the philosophy of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle comes in. Paraphrasing, of course, the point is that Socrates, quote, only knew that he knew nothing. At least he was honest. Plato acknowledged that he, quote, did not know whether he was going to or coming first from the first principles. Imagine that. And Aristotle was convinced that, quote, the universe was eternal, that there being no creation, there was no need for a creator, nor consequently would there be humans characterized as creative creatures. <clears throat> this is the last straw, and all to save the holistic reason above common sense. And if this were not enough, Christ Christism or Messiah, Messiahism, later enters the product of short-circuit conceptions of Greece and Israel. Damage. The concern is that at school we are taught, on the one hand, the culture of deception, and on the other hand, the culture of hope, <clears throat> the collateral damage of a civilization lacking the universal principle of knowledge is an encyclopedic, irrational, and unnatural education. This leads students ultimately to autism, madness, and misery, hence the propensity for fanatism, addiction, and violence, amongst many other evils which we find in our schools today. An error in the headwaters affects everything downstream. Artificial intelligence is irrefutable proof of dualism of uncreative thinking. Below is a sample of the breadth of applications of the teaching of Moses of Paradise Kabbalah to daily affairs. Italics. Cornerstone application. The first application of Paradise Kabbalah compatible with Genesis 1-1 slash Aleph would be the re reading of Genesis 1-1. Here we would have Genesis 1-1 slash Aleph read as, quote, creator of creative creature of creation. Next, Aleph slash Genesis 1, 1, A, B would be read as, quote, creator, creation, created. Next, Genesis 1, 1, A, B, C 
would read as, quote, creation created God of gods. Genesis 1, 1 BCD would then read as, quote, God of gods created language. Finally, Genesis 1, 1 CDF would read as, quote, God of gods is language with the heavens and is language with the earth. Italics, Revelation. Let's express paradise as creator s creative creature slash creation DRP with religion D, philosophy R, science P. Italics, thought. Let's express paradise as thought s slash language DRP with subject D, verb R, object, adjective P. Italics, universal principle of knowledge. Let's express pr paradise as principle S, principles DRP with spiritual D, mental R, physical P. Italics, the one whole slash triad parts. Let's express paradise in formula as one whole S slash triad part DRP as in D, between R, out, P. Italics, common sense coin. Let's express paradise as a coin S slash triad part DRP, tails D, rim R, heads P. Philosophy. Let's express paradise as metaphysics, being S slash becoming DRP, with knowledge epistemology D, good, ethics R, aesthetics, beauty P. Italics physics. Let us express paradise as 4S equals slash mass times acceleration DRP. In formula, F equals MA equals MS over T squared. Force S equals slash 1 over time squared D space R mass P. Or as force source S slash force field DRP with variables time D space R mass P. Society, let's express paradise as creator S creation DRP with civilization D Constitution R, Culture P. Uh, italics state, let us express paradise as Constitution R of a three-power state. First power, legislative, sec D. Second power, executive P. Third power, judicial R. And in turn, judicial R is deployed as a state with five powers. Now with the fifth power, university, DR. Third power, judicial RR. Fourth power, media, PR. Italics, human rights. Let's express paradise as person S slash beliefs D, values R, interests P. Italics, people suffrage. Triad votes per person, child suffrage via their parents. Italics, vocation. Happiness is futile. Only chatting with the creator is fruitful. Italics, peace plan. <clears throat> the paradise constitution as precondition of the state solution for Israel-Palestine. Italics triad in paradise, the inclusion or exclusion of the middle term becomes a triad. State constitution with five powers. By way of example, the Constitution of Mexico of 1917 is good but dated with three powers. The proposed leftist, for, leftist 40 constitution is nothing more than a recycling of dated social model. Instead, the nascent Information age gives the fourth power of the media, and likewise, the age of knowledge gives the fifth power of the university. Hence, we have moved from a state of three powers to a state of five powers. As time goes on, more powers could, be, could emerge in due time from three to five and later to seven or nine powers. Italics, new protagonists of power. The university as the fifth power would be in charge of managing the budget. The medium as the fourth power would be in charge of supervising power and wealth. Up-to-date accounting transparency. Italics, good and bad. Religion and morality alone is one-third good and two-thirds bad. Same with philosophy and politics. Likewise, with science and technology. These three sets acting in isolation do twice as much harm as they do good. But in unison, as a harmonious triad, they would be entirely beneficial. How many religious wars could have, been, could have been avoided, as well as polarization in politics, and not to mention the addiction and alienation by technology? Italics conclusion. That 
that in the timeline of events, that is the timeline of events in the era of dualism, it is now up to us to inaugurate the paradise era. And it's pointless to hold back acting in waiting for anyone to come. Once having clarity of ideas, no more dragging our feet. It's time to get to work without delay. That's it. Ricardo Turiol's Bonilla. Thank you.